Giga Texas is as big as 25 Ikeas, and it's 70% done. I'm Brian. Welcome to my Tesla weekend. The average Ikea is 300,000 square feet, that's 28,000 square meters, but the framed up portion of Giga Texas is over 7.5 million. So if it was an Ikea, and I'm not saying that it is, but that's for you to decide, it would take 63 to 75 hours to walk through it, assuming you don't sleep. So pack a toothbrush and get ready to gobble up a bucket of meaty Swedish beef balls. Here we go. Let's start with the progress graph. The footings in orange have inched up, though it's definitely moving slowly. A number of viewers have suggested that the central corridor may be saved for access to the buildings. I push back against that, but there have been concrete walls installed over a lot of the loading docks along the west side, so this could be possible. If that's the case, the building is closer to complete than these figures suggest. The framing work has held steady, with work on the concrete sections in the casting cathedral and steel marching steadily to the southern perimeter. Steelwork in the central corridor is expected to begin any time now, and much of the material is already staged and ready for erection. The site overall has remained steady. This may accelerate a bit in coming weeks, but even if it does, it will be more of a lumpy representation of the actual progress and not indicative of an early completion, which is something I do not expect. The roof coverage is likewise moving at a steady pace, but there's not much more to say about that. The interior work is inching up nicely on the strength of all the walls that have gone up over the past four months. We haven't seen much in terms of new walls, but it's reasonable to assume that these will resume in the next couple weeks, which will accelerate the figures on this line. If you're wondering how interior work can keep ratcheting up without new walls, it's because there are thousands of cars on the site each day, and the majority of those workers are busy on the interior. All of the areas critical to Model Y production are walled off and well underway inside, apart from the battery area, but as a few users pointed out last week, Model Y production is unlikely to start until the last walls are in place because it would be almost impossible to get even a provisional certificate of occupancy until all the major systems are in place for inspection. They could still have vast areas inside where no equipment is installed, but the power, water, fire suppression systems, all that would still need to be ready for inspection. This suggests first production may not start until the end of this quarter or even into Q4. If you want to get deeper into the methodology used to track the site, check out some of the earlier videos in the series. But if you have questions, do not be afraid to ask them. And for that matter, if you have answers, don't be afraid to respond to those questions. A lot of you guys have really great answers, and I thank you for helping out the community like that. The bigger questions will be compiled and used in the future Q&A video. So let's take a look at the site map for this week and get on to the timeline predictions, but spare me six short seconds to thank my Patreons who get early access, a bonus material, and keep the channel running for as little as a buck a month. You guys are awesome. Thank you so much. So let's take a look at the site map as of today, and let's roll it back to December 14th and go through it week by week. There was very little information to go on in the early days, so there have been adjustments over time. The orange represents the footings, with the darker orange representing deeper or heavier ones. The gray indicates framing work. The darker gray indicates a first layer of roofing. The blue indicates walls have been put up, so the interior area can begin its count. The darker the blue, the more floors there are. The black lines indicate firewalls or expansion joints, with the heavier ones outlining the concrete areas. That is looking so good. 
As a reminder, this only counts the main Emerald Building and not any of the other projects on the site since we haven't been able to determine their eventual size. As of today, Giga Texas, the future birthplace of your Cybertruck, is 70% done and will be complete, for lack of a better word, in a total of 512 days from groundbreaking, on or about December 14th of this year. It slipped by two days from last week's estimate of 1212, but this is no cause for concern, as there were weather delays and the holiday hangover to contend with. It's mostly a two-floor structure, as you can see, and now has a total of about 7.6 million square feet framed up, which is over 705,000 square meters. There's still a ton of work taking place outside the building, adding roads, drainage, and all kinds of grading and land prep for additional buildings and other things, but for the main emerald footprint, where we actually know the size and final scope of the building, it's running right on pace. Work on the Gato Roberto area to the east, and what we now believe will be an office building to the west of the toll road, haven't seen any progress lately, and have been used as staging areas for building materials, as the site itself is running desperately short of free space to use for storage. Unless some portion of the central corridor isn't getting a structure, the site still needs another 158 footings. In order to be done done by mid-December, they'll need to get all the footings poured by July 26th, since they typically take four weeks to fully cure before columns are added. So that would mean they need to pour 11.3 every single day for the next two weeks. To put that in perspective, they would need this many new footings per day. So how possible and how likely do you think that is? Because I think they're going to miss it. From there, they would need to get all the walls up by August 23rd, which would mean an additional 30.8 squares walled off per day, which sounds like a lot, but would only look like this. If they add two squares of wall panels, that would cover the day. When they were adding walls recently, they did so at a pace pretty comparable to this. But I'll ask again, how likely do you think that is? It's definitely possible to me, if a bit ambitious. This is a target they could very easily miss. So what did I miss or misunderstand? Leave me all your wisdom in the comments below. And as always, my friends, I remind you clever robots to stay tuned, uh, stay juicy. And I remind you that I simply cannot wait to hear from you with all your thoughts and corrections and questions for an upcoming Q&A. And if there's any editor out there who would like to join the team, help out the channel, hey man, Get in touch with me on Twitter or by using the email address on my about page here on YouTube and let's have a conversation.